hi everyone today will be create some effects using Maya floats and it will be 2d floats not 3d floats because because visually graphic designers are using 3d floats uh, 3d floats sorry 3d floats because they think it's give you more high resolution but 2d, 2D floats also could be give you uh, good results also so in this tutorial will be create um, the coffee effect the coffee effect coffee effect and how foam um, rotate and move above it above of it above of it okay so fir first thing will be import our model so I I get my front view front view and image blame to import my image reference and import this Chinese cup I love this kind of cups I think it is uh, it is a very good one it's uh, just my opinion <laughs> so I will move it more closer not why so it is very good aligning so it is aligning to grid the important thing to make your object to center on the grid so I will be using my CV curve tool 3D cubic because give you because it will give us a very smooth curve so I will begin this process by CV curve and just try to zoom as much as you can to your model to could be doing right and also try to get a more hard resolution don't do it what I do now it's very hard to observe this low resolution and pixelized reference that I have So as you see, try to align my curve point as much as you can to my model. This second curve uh, at doing now it is giving our model more sickness. So and that's it, we ended. So we try to snap it to grid. So uh, holding, uh, uh, sorry, uh, selecting first you, your your curve point and holding X keyboard and try to snap it to grid. That's it. Saying the good curve. So going to service to revolve it. Revolve. That's it. So 
a sec because one note bad. But we'll undo some. We will create it again. Cause I think. I think it is have something wrong. It's very skinny. Skinny one. So we need to change it. And again. second curve as I told you before give us thickness so when I do it first time I was doing uh, is very it's very little space comparing to the first curve so it is so I get my modeling wrong so I, so I will show to doing this again so I selecting the last two point and snapping to create and that's it service and then service revolve to revolve curve around cell and that's that our modeling have some pretty good it is very good one but have something in here we we will be fixed when we got to when we'll, when we'll be going to our polygons we converted to polygons but we need to select our curve first to see if you can fix this problem manually curve so that so that our curve. So to make reference disappear, we long this step. Show and make camera off. To we could be make some adjustment in modeling by make this adjustment in curve. Can see the curve in here. Control to make it this one. As a shot, is the this give you the y curves give you the flexibility to convert it or to make it anything you make an adjustment on it. Think this need to more in. We should be take a render now to see if you have something we need to change. This line. Choose this one. I 
thinking of a changing shape a little bit. Things the harsh lines going away now. When we take a render, no harsh lines. Or this more. No more harsh lines. So no more harsh lines. That's it, and that's our. That's our Chinese cup. That's it. And now we will convert this nerves to polygons because we we want to make some adjustment on it. So if you do it right, you don't need to make adjustment. And thing and the things I want from you to focus on in the converting process. From convert uh, from converting from nerves to polygons, you should be using. I recommend to use. Uh, to use control points. Control points. It is um, converting the nerve uh, from nerves to body with same numbers of vertex and edges. So if you show, it's the same number. It is the same number, and and it it is the most effective uh, technique technique uh, that give you the same shape, giving you the same shape. So, we want to make it more high raise. So that's it. We'll be insert some edge loops to make it more, to give it more resolution. This one also. So now we have good rounded shape with very harsh lines. So that's it. I see it is a very good one. I see it is a good one. And then we will show if you have some bad points in here. Yes, we have some, some of it in here. So we are deleting the these faces. Again we have, and that's okay. That's one. And we select the edge rank and mesh fill hole and use again split polygon tool, not insert edge loop, insert polygon tool to make to to bridge some vertex to each other. give us uh, more resolution our shape and also make make it too easy in the texturing process texturing a new V process and that's it so we we don't need it but if you show if you see it will be affecting the curve no curve does not affect also our shape so the history the history of this uh, 
so after we clear so so what I mean the shape clears the history of itself history of building of itself so now it is done don't need any doesn't need any adjustment decrease it 2.5 I will scale it down to point oh five Starting to clear this one to see what will be happen. Oh, we will make some negative effects in our model, so don't need it. insert edge loop in here because it's very give us more very hard very hard, yeah, very hard shape should make softness not make it worse but you know it's uh, maybe good shape for us so that's a good shape for us So I think it is a good one here. So we create a good one. So I will ignore the last step. So I think it's a good one in here. And we done with our modeling process. So now we we will going to the two D two two dynamics and fluids. Two D fluids create two D fluids container. <coughs> Sorry, I have something in my mouth. Uh, in my mouth. <sighs> so we changing our resolution in X and Y to to try to observe our effect more good. So that's the two D container. Two D container is it is a little bit uh, a little bit different from. CD container because in a CD container you have X and Y and Z and in 2D you have just X and Y you have in Z so now that it in minus 80 and scale it up we want to fit it fit it to our cal Scale it in in Y. And this transformation of it. No sorry we did, did don't do this step again. <laughs> so I will be hide my model for a second to done our effect. To do our effect. So <coughs> as I said the two D fluid container is more uh, or little bit different from 3D fluid container which it is have uh, different uh, properties such as use high field use the high field it is fill your 2D container with particles if you want to say more green and th that's your particles so it is fill your container with particles 
then I will go into now shading and change the drop off shape to sphere because as you because as you know our cup is in a spherical shape so uh, our our coffee foam is uh, should be in a spherical sh uh, shape also uh, uh, so drop off is using to shaping our container uh, sorry shaping your frozen uh, uh, shaping your frozen so you could be doing as a as a cube cone double cone y gradient as you want and it is according to your modeling or the service you will be applied your effect to so in here i will in here i will decreasing my i will uh, sorry uh, sorry i will increasing my uh, size of loads to give us this shape so as you show we got the half uh, the half shape of our form so the format will be uh, 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 so is that is the platform so this it will be platform for our coffee the content detail and we scale down your density and velocity and velocity to swirl uh, and we will be open our uh, uh, velocity tab to change the swirl to 20 uh, so, so, uh, so, or it to 12 a swirl, a swirl is give us the ability to make our form to rotating so swirl is controlling the rotating and also in this uh, tutorial we will be not using gravity as a source of movement but also we will be using the turbulence the turbulence uh, tab in here as a source of movement so swirl is controlling the rotating and turbulence is controlling the general movement changing my uh, changing uh, color here to density to be aligned with our opacity and uh, the incontances will be not using so let's show our effect so far uh, and uh, this very important thing I forget to put to put a meter so I so I choose my float container and add edit con in meter reset apply it and now we will be observe our effect I know you can see it clearly so I will make it more different color brownian so we want some brownian color dark brown as you see try to I try now to position my colors this in point five And this one is more, more lighter brown. So uh, it is uh, dark brown, little bit light, and this lighter brown. So the dark one it will be simulating our coffee. The light and the lighter one it will be uh, simulating our foam. So now I think you could use it. And bang, as you see is now rotating and give us the effects as you want but in this case we will change some uh, 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 some other attributes such as uh, output mesh no services 
so volume render it is using for something like smoke but in our case we'll be using service render not volume render so as you see it is very good one it is working good now and we got control of it so I think it is very good have a lot of coffee meet you can observe and now we will align it with our cup but there is something before you should be know that this up things will be only thing will be appear not this space so uh, uh, the base particle in here it will be not appearing so we should be we should be fit our cup we should be fit cup to this up uh, to the up one fitting it we could be using the four fuse four views yes of course it's good it's a good tool to fitting your cup so now I will be now I will be colliding cup with fluid effect to make to interact with each other uh, with each other so I will be choose cup first and fluid second fluid effect made collide and will be and it should be now colliding. If something wrong, I was done. Scale it more. Should be scaled down. Show the effect more clear. So you should be now seeing the effects, and that's it. As you show, it is uh, hitting. It is just hitting. It is hitting our cup, simulating in good ways now. This view will be shot if you render in. Uh, so in my software but this in the short inventory and that's it would be rendered again to show if you have some wrong things so of course we have we should be scaled down we could be raising or increasing our resolution to show it more key resolution our render so I will raise it to 100 but you should be know so something if you every time you increase your resolution you increase your time of rendering and as you show it, it is very high quality now this give you more quality is 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 bubble it is not actual bubble but it is this which is which is a transparent which is a transparent hour which is more transparent so if you want to decrease this uh, the transparency of it shading you could be doing in this way it will be good one give you more clear effects if you want I think it is a very good one this good one and you show the depths and show the depths of mocha and how it's moving now render and that's it no transparency oh my god 
we missing we missing part of our fluid so it's appearing so increasing our size so you should be observe your size every time should be observe your size of every time your size every time because you could be missing things saying it's appearing here it's out of our cup here no it is a good one so I think it is a very good one but we need to align it more be sure you done every time you done work in 3d you should to sure everything is good because the rendering it's take a lot of time and if you do any tiny small mistakes you will be render it again so you should be rendering you should be observing everything one and two and three and ten times you should be observing things until ten times because this because you actually graphic designers try to render it more high quality and as you see now we rendered our coffee our coffee mate made and this and these effects I raise the resolution I increase the resolution so it is becoming more clearly appear so I will be safe seen and pause the video and in second part of video we will be co co we will be continue the second uh, the second floods which is will be 3d floods to create our smoke so with me thank you now we will continue our uh, creating the float effect so we do so we done the first step and the next step it will be creating the 3D 3D container. In this stage, we will be creating 3D container, and it will be also simple 3D container. It will be not complicated. We just want some smoke, only smoke. So it will be very simple. Um, will be simple options, and the resolution will be six, 60 no sorry it will be 40 65 always make it 2 by 1 2 by 1 40 or 60 2 by 1 so take more time because I have little RAM and so it's done now it is a um, little bit big but I will be adjusted now I recommend it to do some to do something when you scale. When you scale, don't scale it in this way. No, it is not affected to scale your container in the the regular scale option because it will be affecting the general effect. It will be affecting. It will be. Uh, it will be not. To uh, sorry, it will be make your simulation not run in good way because you should be because the scaling should be done sorry oh I have done something wrong I write in wrong place so I should so here is the resolution resolution and here in the size so you should be scaled from this way okay I think it will be good we just want to increase from z from x axis and z axis a little more no I think it's, uh, this is pretty good then I think uh, this is a very good one I think this will be a good one I 
I make it more bigger because I think it will be and more taller also so it's pretty good now we will be attached to it a emitter so that I just said So this one here, that will be done now. So so that's it. And now we'll talk about the boundary. Boundary, it is a very important um, tabs in 3D container or 2D container. Because boundary, it is it acting where your fluids will be go so if I, if I make a boundary y to minus y so let's see what will happen it will be naked it will be disabled this uh, 2d fluid to see the 3d fluids something wrong in my PC or it uh, too much so I will decrease the, the height moving the emitter in here I think this will be good. So remember, we make boundary y minus y, and so you should focus in above. That's what I have. When you make any these boundaries two minus, so it will be fade away. But if you make it both sides, so the fluids will be interacting with both sides of fluids as object it uh, as ob as object it hit it okay okay so we will not uh, make any changes in anything except the uh, the swirl actually we'll be dealing with the swirl the swirl it is one of the very important as I said before it is one of the very important thing in the fluids because it is make uh, some kind of rotation or uh, random movement it is give you some kind of rotation or random movement so in a smoke we want to make it very random so let's see So that's it. That's it. Just smoke. So we create, we just create a smoke. So we create just smoke for our <laughs> coffee effect. So we have some smokes. Smokes come from and, uh, and I think we should be make make it down more down to give us kind of realistic movement or kind of re realistic integration between those two. And also I will make the 
container more bigger because I want it to be more randomness in white area just will be lowering her So I think it is a very good one. We create smoke as you see. Just smoke for our coffee. I make it bigger because I want smoke to have more random movement and to move in uh, more space. Because I want my smoke to move in more space. That's it. give us kind of realistic movement so we will hit render so that's it oh, same problem TD fluids is not scaled appropriately it's not scaled good so we I will be decrease it And as I was told, and as I told you, you should be doing rendering one and two and three and four times until you be sure that your work is is good enough. Because when you rendering, you you try to make you you should be trying to make your quality very high. Should make very high quality. So it will be take uh, a very huge time and it will be take a lot of data. So you should be sure of your work every minute. Every you should be aware of it every minute. So, so have you shown? Yes. Oh, as you show, sorry. Yes. Oh, um, so as you show, now we are we are done our. I will show something. It is another one also. Work in same concept. resolutions and the same properties you want to show something So that's it. We done our uh, fluid effects. We done our we done now our fluid effect. And we'll be also decreasing 
the, res the resolution into more because you want it to move more fast. So thank you now and we will done in second part the rendering. We will done in second part the the lighting job. How to lighting uh, and uh, how to rendering is is copy made in um, in in a realistic way as much as we can. So wait for second part.